What's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to another episode of Summertime Saga. Last episode, uh, I believe we had finished up with the talent show, right? The talent show was a success. Thomas got his reward from Mrs. DeWitt. And um, there, may be, there may be more to follow. But I think I'm going to take a different path on this episode. Maybe if there's more to follow with Mrs. DeWitt, we will take care of that when the time comes. But right now, I, uh, I think I have my eyes set on Maria. Maria. You know Maria, right? If you don't know who Maria is, she works at the pizza parlor with Tony. Hey there, champ. You ready to deliver some pizza? Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. I could ask about the Russians. You know, the Russians are a big pain in my ass. I'm going to ask. Uh, actually, about those Russians. What about them? I'm curious how you know them. Oh, it's a long story, champ. Let's just say I've had dealings with them in the past, okay? All right. You mentioned someone named Raz. Who is he? Raz is a boss. How does that work? What do you mean? I mean, since when do criminals have bosses? They're Bratva, kid. Bratva? Russian Mafia. Surely you know what Mafia is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. What are the Russian Mafia doing in Somerville? Psh, hell if I know. But whatever they're doing, it ain't good. I'll tell you that for free. You'd be wise to steer too well clear of them. What do you say we get those pieces delivered, eh? Okay, I guess there's nothing else to ask. Uh, I'll deliver some pizzas, sure. That's what I like to hear. I've got some pies sitting right over there on the counter, cooked up nice and raring to go. Make sure you get them to the right place, capiche? Yes, sir. boy. You're going straight to the top, champ. Okay, let's get these pizzas out and then do this delivery. Which one's it gonna be? Which one's it? Boop. Okay, click. 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 Hell yeah, got them all. Man, you are killing it out there. I threw in a little extra for the perfect run. Thanks, Tony. My pleasure, buddy. All right, I earned $300. So I think I'm going to have to keep, like, delivering pizzas uh, to build up some sort of repertoire between uh, myself and Tony. And then maybe we can work in the other stuff, you know? So we're going to go back over, back over here to the pizzeria. Oh, hey there, champ. Boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, what's going on, Tony? I got an appointment up at the clinic in an hour, and I need you to help Maria around the store. The clinic? Is, is something the matter? Huh? Oh, no. There's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. Just a little test. I need the doctor run. Whew. Uh, okay. It might take me a while, though. Hey, Maria. What? Come here, will you? Oh, what now? I just got off the phone with the doc. He's ready to run those tests. Right now? I need to be down there in an hour or so. So what, we're shutting down? Oh, of course not. Well, I can't cook the pizzas and run the counter at the same time. Thomas can help you. Right, Chip? Uh, what, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I'll help. I'll help. I mean, I do work for the pizzeria, so sometimes I gotta run the counter. Or maybe even bake the pizzas. I don't know. You really think he's ready for this? Of course he's ready. He's my protege, ain't he? <laughs> he a protege, huh? That's right. Pretty soon you won't even be able to tell us apart. No, oh, you mean he's gonna gain 50 pounds and go bone? Oh. <laughs> Jesus, Maria. Why you gotta hit a guy below the belt like that? Oh, I'm just busting your balls, honey. You know I love that belly. And you got all the hair you need right here on your upper lip. 
Oh, she does love a good mustache, right? <laughs> mustache, right? Tony, don't go telling the kids stuff like that. <laughs> What's a mustache, right? Never you mind. I'll explain it to you another time, eh? For now, I need you to head back to the kitchen with Maria. Capiche? Yes, sir. All right now, kid. I'm only going to go over this once, so pay attention. Yes, ma'am. In my kitchen, we only serve hand-tossed dough. None of that thin crust crap. And don't even get me started on deep dish. Only an effing loony would call that abomination a pizza. More like tomato soup in a bread bowl, if you ask me. But we'll save that for another day. For now, I just want you to look at the recipe and top the pizzas. All right. Oh, all right. I can do that. Don't be stingy with any of it either. This is my livelihood. I want it done right. Yes, ma'am. Good. Now, when you're done topping, you got to slide it into the oven and let it go for exactly 7 minutes and 30 seconds. How hot does the oven need to be? Hey, now that's a good question, kid. It really depends on what kind of oven you got. These here, I run at 700 degrees. Wow, that's really hot. I use a double pizza stone setup too. What does that mean? Well, you see, you got the bottom stone. That's where the pizza goes. But then I also put a stone on the rack directly above it. That traps the heat in, kind of like the oven inside the oven. An oven inside of oven, huh? It gives that pizza that perfect crispy crust. All right, I'll remember that. So, you follow the recipe to the letter. Don't skip on the toppings. And you leave it in the oven for how long? Seven minutes and 30 seconds. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. I guess Tony was right about you after all. Now, let's do a quick one together, yeah? Okay. All right, so your dough is over here. All nice and pizza shaped, thanks to yours truly. All you gotta do now is read the recipe and the correct toppings as it calls for them. Okay, yeah, I could do that. All right, let's see. Okay, I gotta go faster. All right. Fucking pineapple. Oh, almost didn't make it. Hey, not bad. I'm actually starting to think you might have an aptitude for this, kid. Thanks. Are you good to keep going by yourself for a while? Because I got to mind the counter till Tony gets back. Yeah, no problem. I can do it. I can't tell you how happy I am to finally have some good help around here. It's my pleasure, Maria. Y your pleasure, huh? Man, you're a good kid. Tell you what, you crank out a few more pies like this, and I'll be forced to reward you. Oh, what kind of reward? Eh, something special that I usually only do for Tony. Oh? Trust me, you'll love it. Okay. Now get to it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What's about to happen here? Oh, that's going to go first. Then the cheese. Always that. Then the pepperoni. Then the olive. Woo! That was a close one. I almost didn't make it. That's going to be the sauce, cheese, lettuce. Oh, okay. Sauce, cheese, mushroom, pepperoni, meatball. Ooh, that was a tough one. I did it. Yes. How's it going back here? Everything's fine. How's it going up there? Eh, I'm bored out of my mind, to be honest. I'd much rather be back here and have you up there. Well, we can switch if you want. Nah, it's okay. I can't believe you did so well. Oh, that reminds me. I promised you a reward, didn't I? And I should probably give it to you before Tony gets back. He might get upset if he sees. What? Hold on, what? Se sees what? Just relax, kid. It's going to blow your mind. Mm, um, uh, w w what's going to blow my mind? Wow, well, one of my famous cannolis, of course. Uh, <laughs> Here, give it a taste. Okay. He looks he looks upset like he's this was not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> Come on, don't leave me in suspense all day. Uh oh my god. <laughs> right? 
This is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> Why don't you sell these? You would make a fortune. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, no, I'm serious. It's like a crime that you aren't selling these. Well, they're Tony's favorite thing in the entire world, and he's not big on sharing them. Oh? I mean, he might be all right with you having one here or there, because you're his protege or whatever. But he ain't never going to let me sell them, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess I could understand him wanting them all for himself. I kind of want them all to myself, too. They're so good. I can't believe that he, he got it. He, oh, my God. <laughs> you remind me so much of Tony when he was younger. Oh, look at those eyes. <laughs> he's got all her gal face right now. I can see why he's taking a shot to you. Yeah? I ain't seen I ain't seen him buddy up to someone like this since Luigi died. Luigi? That was Tony's friend that died, right? Oh, that was more than friends. Luigi was like a brother to Tony. They grew up in the same orphanage together and then watched each other's backs, working for the mob all those years. Tony had never been the same since that happened. Wait a second. Did you just say Tony was in the mob? You mean he didn't tell you? No. Oh, crap. Um, and instantly I'm back to normal. Tony was in the Russian mafia? Russian? Of course not. But you just said he was in the Italian mafia, you knucklehead. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that makes more sense. Ugh. So Tony is ex-Italian mafia, huh? That explains why he knows so much about the crime wave in Somerville. Uh, look, kid. Just forget I said anything, will you? I know you got something going on with those dirty Russians. Which is probably why Tony's been keeping you in the dark about this. He doesn't want you doing anything stupid like getting yourself hurt. Maria, I'm back. Oh. It's perfect timing. You're supposed to be up at the counter, ain't you? What you doing back here? Oh, relax, will you? It's not like we've got any customers out there at the moment. Oh, that's not the point. You can't just go leave in the storefront unattended during business hours. All right, sheesh. You ain't got to yell at me, Tony. I know, I... I'm sorry, darling. What's going on? Did something happen at the doctor's office? My boys can't swim, Maria. What? Yeah, the doc says there's not a chance in hell. Oh, honey, it's going to be all right. Well... What are you talking about? It's not gonna be all right. After everything I put you through, and now we can't even have you. The, 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 this this is fucking karma catching up with me, Tony. What the hell kind of man am I? Stop talking like that. You're the best man I ever met, and that's the end of it. We'll figure something out. Look at that handprint on her ass. I don't know what you think we're gonna do. There's nothing for it. I gotta go sit down or something. Um, is everything all right? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that, kid. Eh. Why did you take the rest of the day off? Tony and I got a lot of talking to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, Thomas. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, uh, yeah, Tony got some bad news from the doctor. He is sterile. He can't have kids. It's unfortunate. Um, but I, 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 I see a way through it. But you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say what I think it is. But you know, maybe, maybe we'll see later. Because uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure if you like the video, to go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye bye.